the Shattered Leagues, all about relics and fragments and this fun stuff, and I'm going to be almost completely ignoring that for a large portion of this episode because I want to go to Temperos. I want to prepare myself some food for the future, and I want to prepare myself some GP for the future, so that's the goal. Still going to be doing some task-related stuff, it's just not the main focus of this video. Right now, I'm going to AFK a couple Lava Dragons while I start editing episode 1. Walking out of here with some Prayer XP, some Onyx Bolt Tips, and a Rune Longsword. Not bad. Well, like I said, I want to get fish for future PVM, so there is Temporos, the first boss, unlocked. Hopefully, there's other people there. I didn't really think about that. I was taking a look at some of my fragments and realized that Greedy Gatherer just gives you guaranteed double resources, and I'm only one fragment away. So I'm actually going to go do a couple of really easy renown tasks and then see if maybe I can force out the third relic. So it seems like the fragments only come from skills they pertain to, and one of the other Greedy Gatherer fragments has to do with woodcutting. So I'm going to unlock woodcutting. All right, this is a harvesting relic I just got from woodcutting. Hopefully it's the one I need. Slash and burn, I think might be it. Wow, I'm actually like kind of amazed that I managed to get that. So let's throw all these on. So with all of these relics equipped, I actually have a chance to cook the fish that I'm catching at Temporos and I will always catch two of them. I'm not sure how that's gonna work with the extra fishing spawns, but let's go ahead and experiment. I'm kind of excited. Oh my god, it does work. Now I have to figure out if the cooking- The cooking one works too! Oh my god, and you get points for it still, I think. This is- Wow. I'm actually excited to do this boss now. Look how fast I'm gathering these things, man. This isn't even the double spot. Totally forgot you can actually get fragments here too, so nice. Oh, that was actually a new fragment, catch of the day. I think this is the one that gives you potential RDT when fishing. So the double fishing spot at Temporos does give you a potential of catching four fish, and it can actually cook all four at once with these relics. This is insane. Here's a new one. I got hit by the storm, which gave me an easy combat achievement, which gave me a league task. Okay. Hey, there is level 70 fishing and my first level 70 on the account. However, I think I want to take a slight break from Temporos. I'm going to come back and finish 81 fishing here because that's when you get the best loot from the reward pool. However, I feel like it makes the most sense for me to unlock the fourth tiered relic now because one, that'll give me increased luck, which I'm going to get before I fish anyway, and also because it'll allow me to put on catch of the day so I can potentially just randomly get RDT stuff while I'm doing this. Varrock Telly, Fire Making, Cast a Blast Spell, Kill a Lesser Demon, Drink a Strength Potion, Chop a Tree, Chop a Different Tree, Burn Some Logs. I just realized that one of the relics I got that I completely overlooked is actually part of the Chain Magic set, which gives your magic attacks a chance to hit twice. So uh, that'll be fun to play with later. Unlocked Mining, Mine Some Stuff, Mine Some Other Stuff, Mine Some Stuff with a Different Pickaxe. I don't have smithing yet, but this relic can supposedly smith things, so I want to see if I can cheese a couple of tasks. Oh wait, wait, why did it do that? What? It made- I was thinking it would make the iron into iron bars, and then I'd mine coal to make it into steel, but for some reason it just made the iron into steel bars? Sniff with a talisman, complete a quest, rune essence mine, make some flour, completed the lost tribe quest, time to unlock attack. Whoa, experience, put on some weapons, stabbed a guy, rifled through some pockets, did a quest. And there is 50 swordfish caught, which gives me the fourth tier, and the chin chonkers fragment which is hilarious sounding that chinchampa relic is really good too because not only do i now have two set for chain magic i have potential two set for double tap which is the same thing but for ranged so nice for now it's time to put on the catch of the day fragment and head back to temporos for 81 fishing oh and i also just absolutely forgot to mention the other things that happened when i got to the fourth tier in addition to the extra relic slot and the random skilling fragment, items from some sources will now be two times as common, so I finally have a buffed drop rate for rare, unique boss items. I have had five fragments this kill. I don't know if it's because I'm doing a boss or because my levels are getting higher, but whatever I'm doing, it's spitting out fragments like crazy. Catch of the day finally coming in clutch and letting me fish up some nature runes here. Hey, I finally maxed out my first fragment. Chef's Catch, the fragment that allows me to cook fish when I catch them, is now level 3, which means I have a 50% chance to cook these fish, I believe, instead of like a 20 or a 30. That'll just make me get even more points here. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be seeing this in the chat. X is 0, found usable fragment 1, X is 1. I don't think they're supposed to be showing me the code. 
Also, there's level 80 fishing, my first level 80 stat, and 50 points. And there we go, level 81. I can now catch manta rays and get the best fish from Temporos when I loot the pool. So, after this game, I'm gonna go do that, and I have like, I think 160-ish reward points, so hopefully we can pick up some stuff there, because I would assume that there are tasks associated with it. Wow, this place just pumps relics up. There's catch of the day, level 3 as well. Unfortunately, I'm done here after this kill so it's not quite as useful to have that one level three but i'll probably come back here eventually these 192 reward permits are going to be amazing for the fish that i get but for some reason jagex just got lazy or straight up forgot to add temporos things to the task list so like there's soak pages no points there's a tackle box no points i think the only thing that gives points from here would be me getting the pet actually but unfortunately it looks like we are not getting the pet or the tome of water however we did get a sizable amount of raw fish so I guess this is what happens when you max out a relic fragment. You can just no longer receive them, so I've maxed all the fishing fragments, and I think that just means I don't get fragments while fishing anymore. Also got a couple decent things out of these caskets. Rune Met Helm, three Rune Square Shields. Alright, well, time to cook all this and... <laughs> see what ridiculous cooking level I get out of it. Hey, look at that. It's still technically the first day, and I'm 70 cooking already. I don't want to admit how long I've been on this account. And there's another tier 3 fragment maxed out, the Dine and Dash fragment. This one's really kind of nuts considering I have all this raw fish because 50% of the time when you successfully cook a fish, it just doubles it and sends the extra one to your bank. 80 cooking. I honestly don't know why I'm doing this right now, but uh, I'm doing it, I guess. Holy Grail quest and look at all that beautiful experience. With barely even enough money for me to enter the cave, I think it's finally time that I try out revs. I have the two set for chain magic, so hopefully this will allow me to take on some of the lower ones. If not, I'll probably go just do some of the attack quests and train my melee stats up a bit. Yeah, so I did get a couple drops, but this Pyrofiend is proving to me that uh, this is not worth doing with the current setup that I have. I've been killing it for like 10 minutes, so I'm either going to go for an Ibn Staff or melee. Right now, I'm leaning towards just doing quests and training melee stats. Hey, there we go, that's our first bracelet. Three uncut dragon stones. Stomping at the crazy archaeologist real quick to see if I can get a power amulet and maybe some rune crossbows. Oh, there we go, that's the amulet of power. Don't put it in the looting bag. That's the amulet of power on the second kill. Nice. Gonna unlock the strength skill and do some quests that I promise you have never seen every single YouTuber do in every single series because they are so overpowered. Oh, 91,000 experience, 58 attack. 50 strength, 62 attack. Honestly, I might just go and get a dragon scimitar because that seems like the simplest solution. Boom, 147,000 attack. <laughs> it's disgusting. 65 attack, 62 agility, and a good chunk of magic XP too. Honestly, I don't know if that was really worth doing manually, but I guess we'll see when I get this experience. It was a pretty good amount of experience, and I did get a combat relic out of it. This, this could be worth it just from the combat relic. Let's see what that got our stats up to here. 68 attack, 63 strength, 62 defense. Apparently I got 75 combat out of that as well. And at 64 hit points. That's not bad. What's the combat relic? Arcane Conduit. It's good. I would have preferred a new one though. Back at the agility pyramid to make enough money for that dragon scimitar. And it looks like the relic I just got means that once I get the ability to use five fragments, I can start using last recall with them. I don't know how good that's actually going to be anymore, but hey, it was really OP before. Another one. I wonder if it's because my total level's gone up. I'm getting so many more. Mother's Magic Fossils. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I could be wrong here, but I think... Oh, we have three for Chain Magic. That means it's a 60% chance for magic to roll twice. Like, right when I'm about to buy the Dragon Scimitar too. now I'm sitting here thinking, maybe magic will be better. I think, regardless, it makes more sense for me to go in with the Dragon Scimitar first to make enough money to, like, buy the Ibans and all that stuff. So, I'm, I'm going to stick with the plan for now. Yeah, a little too late on that Golden Brick Road. It only took seven Grave Robbers or something before I got it. Dragon Scimitar obtained. Now I'm going to go buy some armor because I realized that I can actually go straight to the warrior's guild so i figure i might as well okay well i've been here for two and a half hours at this point and i'm still only on an iron defender so I, you know what i just i don't want to be here so i'm just gonna go revs 
The relics I have on are in like perfect sync because I have the two set for twin strikes, which is the chance for an extra melee hit, two set in knife's edge, which is more damage based on less HP, and then also a two set in Dracon's touch, which heals you based on damage you do. Oh my god, this is so much better. Why did I not just do this from the beginning? Forgot to do this the first time I got one. Uh, if I take this bracelet, put the ether in it, and then actually, you know, equip it, that's a task. I don't know why I forgot to do that with the first one. Oh, look at that! Two dragon longswords. My god. Oh, that's so much money. I just realized I could have been using a salve amulet with melee this whole time. But I don't have crafting unlocked, don't have the points for it, and really just don't feel like doing it since I'm about to switch to mage after I make a little bit more GP. Whoa! No way! Ancient emblem? Bro, that's a 500k drop! What? Man, I got that after I lost my skull. I mean, I guess that technically means it could have been something way better. But that's awesome, dude. I'm surprised that's not... Maybe it's points for turning something in. I don't know. Let's go find out. I'm gonna finish killing this thing. We'll turn it in and then we'll go get our mage set up, I guess. This guy was hard to find. All right, if I use this on him, he should just give me 500,000 coins. Wow, there is not even a task for that. That is kind of sad. I don't know if they just didn't realize or what. Maybe there's a task for the bigger ones. Now it's time to go get an Ivan staff. All right, first things first. I could run and do the other two quests in this chain to make this a little cheaper, but honestly, I just really don't feel like doing it. So, elf quests, bam, that is Underground Pass, Biohazard, and Plague City done. Look at this, with the Alk Relic on, Rune Plate Legs, 57k. Dragon Longsword, almost a like 90k? This is, <laughs> this is nuts. Unfortunately, I can't get myself Mystic because I don't have crafting, and you need Hand in the Sand to get access to the Wizard's Guild now, I believe. So, I'm gonna have to put that on the back burner. So this is what we're going back with. Arcane Conduit level 3, which means I only use my Staff Charge and Runes 10% of the time, and then 60% of the time I'm casting twice. Just sit with me for a moment, if you will, and appreciate the strength of the Ibans Blast spell with these relics. Oh, look at that loot. Double dragon plate skirt. I think that might be a task. Yeah, 50 points for putting one of those bad boys on. But, oh. <laughs> and with the Alc Relic, even like Dragon Swords is already a great, or Dragon Long Swords is already a great job. That's like 200k. I think those plate skirts is like a fucking 500k drop. This is, oh my god, this is busted. I love it. Dude, this is, this is nuts. All right, so I have a bracelet and a rune warhammer outside the looting bag. You ready to see the looting bag? Look at that, dude. Oh my god, it's so good. There's so much money in there. This is nice. I'm loving this, man. And I only used 50 charges that whole trip, thanks to my relic. 50 charges. I could kill this man right now if I wanted to. Got myself a new fragment, the Venom Master Fragment. Go ahead and take a look at what that one does and what sets it's a part of. Oh, it's just straight up your attacks have a chance to do damage and eventually you become immune to poison. Wow, that poison and venom. Okay. It is my first relic in the absolute unit set. So, uh, alright. Cool. Alright, another trip. Two long swords, two bracelets in the inventory. What is in the bag? Another 700k. God, I love this, dude. And I didn't even realize that I've been getting rev teleports. I don't know where those take you now. I mean, obviously to the rev caves, I'm just not sure which entrance. So that'll save me some time getting back, meaning my skull will last longer. Least impressive trip so far, mostly just supplies on this one. Five dragon stones, though. I feel like I might get some use out of that. You see that? You see that on the ground? That's two dragon plate legs. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna do like two more trips after this one, and then I'll probably have enough money just to do a shitload of tasks and go maybe all the way up to tier six. I love how every time the staff hits a flat number of charges, it decides to just spam my chat 30 million times as if I'm like right click checking on it constantly. Picked myself up a new combat relic at the end of this trip, the Bottomless Quiver, which I think is the range ammunition one yeah it is awesome 
It's also part of Knife's Edge and Trailblazer. Okay. Pretty good. All right, another new fragment, the Unholy Warrior. All right, only a single pair at that time, but that's another pair of Dragon Plate Legs. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at that relic, though. Melee accuracy with zero prayer points goes up. All right, I mean, that would be useful at a place like this where I'm not really using overheads or anything. And it's also Knife's Edge, which I think, since I just got two new fragments, means that I have all of the or at least four of the knife's edge fragments so i'll try putting that on maybe that's a task all right last trip i'm gonna go ahead and knock out some pyrophenes on my way out here just you know for the shits and giggles i guess and i'll take everything out and we can see how much stuff we have i'm really excited man probably missed some stuff but i think this is everything 5.8 mil and i was only there for like a couple of hours man Maybe three hours, and that, that's kind of a stretch to say that. But let's go ahead and uh, switch our relics out and start alking this stuff. Funny interaction here. So I changed my alk value to 75k, but apparently because I have the alk thing on, things that are getting their alk value raised to over 75k are still triggering that warning. So I think I have to make this like 200k or something. I don't know. All right, this is a lot more money than I thought I was getting because I keep forgetting just how much a 50% increase on Alex is. 5.3 million GP on the Shattered Relics League. You know what? That is plenty of money. I feel like I have now established myself a great baseline to go and knock out basically whatever tasks I want to knock out. And that's exactly what my plan is for the next episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm, like I said, trying to take a bit of a different route and pace to what a lot of other people are doing, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, peace out, and have a fantastic rest of your day.